Hey guys, so it should be very clear from Roman's recent interview on JJ Watt's Hangout that they are no longer friends. And in fact, Roman has said that Anthony has been a net negative. And when he did the initial blackout, that was actually very bad for his business because all the comments he got was about the blackout and Anthony and Anthony and Anthony. And at the end of the day, you're trying to run a business and you don't want to worry about somebody else. So Anthony has actually exposed some really interesting lapses in the gray market. So I have kind of created this consignment model. Uh, consignment is very big in the card market. Card Cards are consigned every day. Uh, it is big in the anime market. It's big in any collectible item market, uh, any gray market or second mar secondary market. Consignment is pretty, um, I mean, it's just day by day, you know, people do it. My solution is you you hire somebody to do the service for you. The service is they will post on social media. They will try to sell. You pay them a flat fee or a percentage of the watch. Uh, and maybe they come to you. Maybe they fly to you if you have enough watches. If you have 20 watches, which it would make sense and the person would be profitable. Or... Um, you they you hire a local photographer. Uh, product photography is big, and in Houston alone, there's at least uh, four places I know that I can take uh, 24 seven. By the way, uh, two of them are 24 seven where I can take any products, um, anime figures, Pokemon cards, whatever, and they will t do a pretty good, decent job with the. Um, if I say, hey, I want TikTok, Instagram, I want. Um, website photos of this quality uh, they get it done for you and you just drop off the material um, they give you option of backgrounds and they give you option of editing which costs extra but it's all done i mean everyone in a big city has the ability to get product photography for relatively cheap nowadays in fact i, I was watching on shark tank there was actually a a business model where like you can do it yourself so maybe there's like a dyi version as well so you go there, product photography, the person, or then you send it back to the Watts dealer, in this case, Anthony. You never send him the watch. You send him a fee for advertising, right, and trying to sell your watch. And if he's able to sell the watch, then you give him a commission on top. But you never, never send him the watch. So Anthony is going out there trying to sell the watch just like he would do for a, uh, a watch on call. Many times, Anthony does. Anthony's client says, "Hey, I want this Daytona." Anthony does not physically have the Daytona, so what does he do? He puts a call out for the Daytona, and then he fulfills the order. So it's very similar to that mechanic, right? So Anthony goes out with the photos and the videos and whatever other social media um, assets he needs, and goes out to sell it. Somebody sells it. Um, they put down a deposit or even pay the whole thing. Anthony says, you know, yeah, let me get in. People say, oh, what if the watcher doesn't send it to Anthony? What, what, why if the, if the seller doesn't? You just contract that out. Um, you make it obvious in the consignment contract, which is signed by both parties, that you get um, so many days, right? That you're not supposed to move the watch within so many days. Uh, the watch is a frozen asset within, let's say, half, half a month or maybe a whole month right you give them 30 days to sell the watch so if you don't have the watch and you have to make him complete so he can still move as if he had the watch right because the contract says uh the owner of the watch cannot sell it uh, except to anthony for x amount of price so it's an option uh, all this stuff can work be worked out in contracts so then anthony calls the guy and says hey I have a buyer for the watch. Uh, can you send the watch to me? Watch gets sent to Anthony. Uh, Anthony looks at it and says if it's in good condition. And it should be in good condition because, again, he has all these assets. He's got videos. And, again, he can check for authentication and if there's any other problems. And if it's not authentic, then he can uh, use the contract, the consignee contract, to be made whole. So then Anthony gets the watch, assuming everything is legitimate, and Anthony's actually seen the watch before, so he's already known and nothing has changed. 
Then he goes ahead and then he sells the watch. He gives the watch to the person who wants to buy it. And then he immediately pays, as soon as he gets the money in, he immediately pays the previous owner of the watch. And that's how I believe consignments work. Uh, it puts very, very low li risk because the, 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 consignee is only sending the watch after there is a sold order very similar to how Anthony does his moda groups and so on when he's looking for when he puts a call out for the watch Anthony gets a, a service fee uh, maybe it's a flat fee maybe it's a percentage fee for um, doing work like trying to sell the watch taking photos of the watch taking videos of the watch etc and he gets a commission for eventual sale so like he gets a another commission on top Maybe a 5% commission once the sale was done. At no point in time is the customer or consignee's watch 100% at risk. Worst case scenario um, is the consignee is out just the cost of the photography and videos. And honestly, those assets you know, would probably be good if the consignee wants to sell it himself or herself in the future. It's not like a complete waste, right? Uh, there is more risk now on Anthony's side, but there is also more desire. There's also more motivation for Anthony to sell said watch. Um, people have commented before that, what if you had two of the same watches, one of them Anthony owns and one of them on consignment, then obviously Anthony will push the one he owns first. The consignment, logically speaking, doesn't make too much difference, too much... Um, I mean, honestly, like in terms of like show off, showing off inventory, you might want to keep the consignment and not sell it and not push it as much as you're pushing the actual watches you have bought. So Roman, um, I, I know that this is um, pretty much the gray market has been bashed and bashed and bashed. We have Alpha Crown with another robbery, which is, you know, I mean, it happens, but it, it does seem to happen more often to these YouTubers, right? And maybe we will get a video about this. I, my main takeaway on on the Roman Anthony relationship is the same as Liz and Darby. Um, Roman used Anthony as he got the ideas from him, and as soon as he became not useful, he disavowed. I mean, when you talk about the people who disavowed from him, it was Liz Darby, basically a video from Darby, Reblot Lux, right, L.A. It was Mark, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy representing Marco and so on, right? I mean, again, you can kind of put them in a pair. And it was Roman. So out of the people who actually felt like they had to make videos disavowing, so Nico didn't make a disavow video, Paul supported Anthony again. I mean, out of the people who disavowed him, it is the people who are closest to him because it's the closer, it's the association every like timepiece trading didn't make a disavow video uh wolves of wall street um i don't think it made a disavow video and alpha crown made like a consignment let's do consignment video very poorly timed based on recent happened in happenings but when we look at this and we really scratch our head and we really look at the gray market watch business it is shark a shark eat shark business you know, there are no friendships and and there's only business relationships, business partnerships. And as soon as you don't get your money, uh, Roman is, he was supposed to get paid $20,000. It was not paid. Roman goes on live stream, blasts Anthony. That's the type of relationship that I think should exist in a healthy com competitor. Roman will say, hey, I want to work with you guys. I want to work because he wants to learn. He's a smart guy. Um, he knows what he needs to learn and he learns it very quickly and does a good job at um, taking what somebody does successfully like Anthony's vlog style add his own little touch to it and then boom he's much more successful than Anthony now on YouTube so yeah Anthony even in the gray market is uh, a person like Roman said no watch dealer will touch him with a 10 foot pole he's done what watch dealer with any iota of uh, respect would want to Anthony being their salesperson? The answer is none because the what comes with it, as Roman alluded to, is just too much, right? And Roman would definitely be the person who would know about that. 
because he's experienced it. Uh, his relationship with Anthony probably caused him nothing but harm to his company and a lot of uh, Tugger comments. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.